Hi, and welcome back to my Iron Man series. In today's episode, I'm trying something a bit new with the video editing style, um, and I want your feedback on it, so just let me know what you guys think. So, I am trying to do some more, like, showing what I'm doing rather than being like, hey, I did this and this was the rewards I got and showing the rewards. I'm actually showing me, like, doing the thing and then showing the rewards. I don't know if I like it better. I think I might, but let me know what you guys think, because you guys don't like it then i won't do it anymore but anyway though thank you so much for clicking on this video and i hope you enjoy one thing i need to do soon is take these out and then combine them i have the three and they combine into one of my best crystals so i think that'd be a good thing to do on screen right now there should be the recipe for the crystal extraction tool it shouldn't, it's not that hard to get, honestly. Just some magical shards and your iron crystals. I have plenty of iron to do that. It's more of the metal solvent that I need to go make more of. Melting these, I'm going to need to make some metal solvents and stuff, but I should have everything for that. I don't think it should be a problem, but I'm going to melt down all my iron ore first, so, and turn it into bars. So this is going to take a while. All right, well... Didn't make quite as many as I thought I was going to, but we are going to make a crystal extraction tool. Nice. Well, now we can actually craft them ourselves, but we're going to need quite a few of these because I have messed up with my crystals, definitely. Hey, we got boss blitz rewards tonight. Let's, let's pop these open. I don't know if I can actually pop them open while I'm doing this. Yeah, it won't let me. Whatever. Let's do it. Okay, it looks like we got a resplendent lightstone. Six coins, ten embers. Seven coins. Coins are kind of the things that I really want. Okay. This is going pretty well. I just love coins. Yeah, we got quite a few resplendent lightstone. That's not bad. So we got a, a rush. Ooh, that's cool. I like moving. Seems like a pretty decent one. Not that I'll use it ever, but... Sad news, we are out of Blessing of Comasilv. Very, very sad. That's, uh, no energy restoration anymore. It's a one per hour, or one per three minutes instead of one per minute now. And minus 20% drop rate from where we were at. It's pretty sad to lose that, but not too big a deal still got two days left on this value pack but once that one's out we are out of these three buffs i'm actually gonna do calamity three this week on these two make sure to click them uh let's get these done i'm gonna go ahead and do these three and then two of these and yeah next week we'll be done with calamity three i think i'll end up be doing or i will end up doing calamity three for the next few weeks until i get a little bit better gear um, I don't know if buffs actually work. I'm going to look that up. And if they do, I might pop a couple buffs before I go in. Well, maybe not for Calamity 3, but Calamity 4 I think I'll need to start popping buffs for. If they work. I'm not 100% sure. Alright, let's see how this goes. And I started the clip and I had to look over at it for a second to make sure it was actually on and got it. But, oh, that, I felt like that. Hey, we did it. I actually wasn't really expecting that to go that well. Let's go. Okay. Wait, we have Calamity 3 done. Let's go ahead and get these other ones done. I am going to go pop some buffs. All right. As you can see, I got a church buff. I got camp buff. And then I pop both of these. I could pop a food buff, actually. I don't know if I actually have one that has attack. Eh, yeah, let's just pop a serum. Cool. So we're all buffed up. Not with the best buffs, but, well, some of them are, but not the food buffs, but that's okay. So we should be able to clear this pretty fast this time, actually. So... <laughs> Your too now belongs to me. Okay, please tell me that was Calamity 3, let's check. Yes, it was. Good. 
So I've always just brute forced this guy, but it's not possible on this account at this calamity level. I actually have to do mechanics, and I don't know the mechanics, but I think I can get it this time. I died at the 20% skill, I looked up a guide, and I figured out how to get past the insta-kill at like 50% roughly and stuff, but I died at the 20%. Um, I just needed to forward guard it, and I didn't realize I was trying to run away from it because it was like a circle that pulls you in. And I was like, oh, I probably need to run away from it, but apparently you need to forward guard it, so I should be able to kill it this time. And from now on, I shouldn't have a problem with this guy, now that I understand the mechanics. So, unless I just die to something stupid, which is very possible. Still can't figure out which abilities to use to actually break him out of that... Uh, thing that he does. The way that I just have been avoiding it is I've just been using emergency escape to break out or to not get hit. Um, I think after this I'll try to look into it, but like, I'm not sure. I, I don't know. I, I use CC abilities on him and he just didn't break, so I'm not sure what to do exactly there. Maybe I can kill him before he spawns in his guys and does his last one shot ability? No. Uh, this means I need to kill these guys and then I need to do a forward guard. So I... Okay. See if I can kill him before he does his scary ability? Nope. Uh oh, uh oh. I just gotta guard. Okay. It's done. We did it. Oh, I did it. That was kind of difficult, actually. Now we gotta. So that's all Calamity 3 done for Sun Aura. So we're heading over to Earth Aura. Yeah. I'm having a hard time with this. I've, I've done Calamity 4 on a lot of these bosses, and they were not even as hard as this, so I think gear really does matter. Like, people tell me that gear doesn't matter, but I can feel it. I can totally feel it. But I guess I'll keep throwing myself at it, because I'm getting close often, but just, uh... I almost died there. No oh, it's close. Hard, I did it like four times, I think. Ooh, yeah, Calamity 4. I think I should be able to do it on like Bamboo Legion. And maybe like Bari and Sungakshi. Those ones are somewhat easier, I guess. Maybe not Sungakshi, but Bari and Bamboo for sure. I feel like they're the easiest. But I don't think I'm going to be able to do Calamity if I'm. Anytime too soon. The mechanics on this fight are so unintuitive. This isn't a hard fight. It just has some... The, the purifying the aura stuff. It's, it's so unintuitive. You have to stand in, like, bad stuff. So but I think I understand the Earth and the Moon aura now. It shouldn't be too hard. I, I think the Sun Orb one looked really easy. Aura on this boss what you have to do is for people who don't know how to fight this boss I'll try to explain it the best I can to see if I understand it but basically what you need to do is wait for this like rain to spawn it's like this red rain that spawns so just gotta wait for it so we just gotta dodge block this block stuff and there's the rain we stand in this rain and take some damage from it. And then we run over to this. And we stand on this. And then we get out of there. And it should spawn in um, the Earth Aura stuff. Now we need to look at which ones have lightning. And we destroy those ones first. So there's two down. 
And there's a third down. And then we destroy this last one. And at this point, it should say... Oh, it didn't work. Okay. Uh, I wasn't fast enough because I got knocked over. That sucks. It says destroy. So yeah, same thing again. Destroy all the ones with the lightning effect. I think that's all three of these. Then it should say a mysterious energy can be felt in the surroundings. And I think we did it. Sick. And now we just do damage. Okay. Cool, and let's try to bring this tornado. Man, the tornado's gone now. We gotta wait for more rain clouds, which are spawning like... I don't know, we'll see. They usually spawn on the sides. Right here. Okay, on this one, we have to do the one that doesn't have electric first, so it will spawn some moon orbs here. Okay. So we have to do the one without lightning. So this one. And then this one. And now it should spawn a tornado somewhere. Right there. And we stand in this tornado, I think. And if we do this wrong, we die. Okay, the Munaris has been imbued. So I'm just going to stay standing in this because I don't want to die. Cool. So now we have more damage phase here. I don't think Calamity 2 or 1 actually have these mechanics in it. And he's dead. Um, if we would have had to go to Sonara, we would have had to do that, but killed it before then, so that is great. That was honestly not too rough. Had to learn the mechanics again. I'm having fun learning these, so I'm glad to do it, but, like, actually have to do these. We have some... Some of these rewards here. Five bags? Let's open up the Boss Blitz rewards now. Okay. 10 points from that. That's pretty good. Another 10. I'm really caring about these coins. I would love to get some Girins though. But coins are great. That is pretty good. Got like 50 coins. And one very cool thing. I don't know if I showed this yesterday, but I can make my Flame of Hongik now. So... I was trying to get my red nose armor to a pen, but this is going to be the first pen. Once we get this to Tet, we're going for this. And the amount of Kafra stones I have is 1700 plus we have almost 12,000. And 12,000 would give me... It's divided by 5, so that's like 2200 or something like that. So we actually have like... 4,000, which will get me to Capris level 7, probably. 6, 7. So that would be cool. But gotta get to pen first, because I'm pretty sure Capris levels go down if you fail attempts. So we will not be doing that. Until Wood's pen. And we'll be able to get the Dawn's Gloves pretty fairly easily. It's just gonna be quite a while till I get this pet Black Star. But once we get this Tet Black Star, um, we'll start working on armor again. Well, at least that piece. And I think, assuming we don't, aren't able to go to like Jade Starlight or the other flame places, I think we'll go for the uh, Pen Black Star after that, and like, or maybe Pen Kudum as well, and start capricing up that Kudum because Kudum is the best 
Although I'm not sure... I might need to go for a Black Star Kudum. It's not better than the... Or not Kudum. The Black Star side weapon. It's not better than the Kudum. Um, I think in some specific scenarios it is, but I think the Kudum is better most of the time. But they are going to release the Fallen God weapons, and I'm not sure if they're doing the sub weapon yet. But if they are, and they don't allow you to use Kudum, and you have to use Black Star, that might be the case. So I'm a little bit apprehensive on capricing it, because I don't want to capper something that isn't going to be able to be upgraded. I guess I'll wait. It's gonna be a while till we get there, so hopefully we'll have more information by then about the um black or about the fallen god weapons. Anyway though, um that was a good session. I learned a lot about those bosses. I feel really good about that. I should be able to one shot them on Calamity 4 once I have the gear to do it. Because now that I understand how to do them, it won't be nearly as hard. Oh, got my first tongue grad earring. Let's go. This has been- I've had a couple scary moments here so far. Um, this is definitely a sweat place for me right now, like... Scary, but it's- it's good. It, they die quickly. This is a fun spot. I'm having a lot of fun with it. But it's definitely a place that'll only go when I'm, like, wanting to full focus, because... It could be deadly and I could lose some really good crystals, so... So this has been a very fun test hour. I'm having so much fun doing this. But it is still currently better money to do Crescents or Centaurus just because I'm not. Like, these guys do take a little while to kill. Um, I'm up to, like, I think 10,000 trash and I have 10 minutes left, so it's, like, 130 mil. And I usually make, like, 200, a little bit over 200 mil, I think, at um, the other spot at, at uh, Crescent. So... I think, I do think this is still worth it though because of the Tungrad, so I probably will stay here for another hour, maybe even two, um, just so I can start getting some Tungrad attempts, that just sounds really fun to me, and getting that would be sick. That was so close, I almost just lost a crystal problem. I just realized I did most of that, or that whole entire session at night, so that's why it was a little scary. Um... But yeah, that's sick that I was able to do that whole session at night without dying. Although I did get down to under 100 health, so uh, barely. Anyway, though, got 13, so that's like 13,000. I think that's going to be 160, 170 mil. So, well, 16,000. So I think that's about 200 mil. So that's honestly pretty close to what I'm getting um, other places with Agris. So... Uh, looks like I used up about 10,000 aggress points. Honestly, not bad. Also, the daily came in 100 Kron stones. That's so good. Tomorrow, another dim origin of dark hunger. And then we got 50 memory fragments, which is thick. Then these. These are awesome. Especially this one. Yeah, this is a really, really good report track. And the Debo. <laughs> that one's sick. <laughs> Yes, got another ton grid. That's so sick. I'm so good with that. Immediately we're bumping that up to a uh, duo if we get another one. Oh, sick. Got a third ton grid. Um, we'll be Kron attempting this, so we can probably get a duo. Alright, we are out of buffs. Um made my way out, but I'm just going to Traveler's Map over to Sand Green and collect my horse. So, I'm going to bed as soon as we're done with this. But, for this, we're going to use a 30. There's a 75% chance, and we're not going to cron this one. I'm not too worried about it. It should just go. Yeah, I figured. Okay. And then we'll use a 40. So it's a 50% chance. So I'm thinking we just send it no crons. If it goes, it goes. 
it, and it failed. That's too bad. Thank you so much for watching. Again, let me know in the comments what you think about the new editing style. If you like it, then I will probably keep doing it. If not, then we can go back to how it was before where I'm just showing like the results of my clips rather than showing like the whole entire process. Again, though, I don't know which one I like better, so you guys have to let me know. Um, anyway, though, if you enjoyed, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe so you don't miss the next one.